Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is a mini flip jig, or I should say a mini jig and pig, um, since it's a football head. It's going to be in a pumpkin seed pattern. Uh, I call it orange pumpkin craw uh, in the vise. This is a 1 8 ounce football head. It is weedless. Uh, we're going to put an FG12 weed guard in it which is 564 diameter, real thin. And there's a little short one in there that needs to be cut. Um, the color is called Crawdad. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, I don't know if you could see that or not. It has real fine black uh, spots and uh, real fine... Uh, sparse orange spots in it it's a really good color uh if you have those red clay bottoms or brown river bottom excellent excellent color for that so let's get started with some 210 denier flat wax nylon thread it's going to be black we're going to get our base started this is going to be a real easy pattern uh and in this little jig is going to be like a ned rig alternative Guys are throwing Ned rigs around you. This will be a little bit better option. It's only two colors. First color is Nature's Edge Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to take that. And we're going to tie it in just above the head. Because it's going to be a finesse style. And we're going to fold it over. Since it's a small jig, we don't need to use a full strand. Uh, uh, full tab. And it's only five strands folded over, so you're going to have ten strands of this uh, burn orange nature's edge in the entire jig. So what I like to do is after I get those tied in, just make sure I have them spread out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you get that color there pretty much all the way around. Looks pretty good to me. Now, we're going to take 10 strands of Nature's Edge pumpkin. Um, I believe they call this dark pumpkin. It depends on where you buy it. I get it from Barlow, so it is just, uh, I guess they call it uh, pumpkin. It's their, their pumpkin, Nature's Edge. I've also got it from other places where it was more of um, a butterscotch color. But this is a little darker, which I really like for this pattern. So we're going to tie in the first part of it there. And we'll fold the tab over. Whoop. Sorry about that. Just bang my camera. And we'll tie in the other part there. Just make a wrap or two. Just enough to hold your silicone. As always, this is something you're going to throw. I throw this on a six foot nine. Uh, I guess you'd call it a medium light. It's almost a light power. It's a G Loomis bronze back. It's um, 811, uh, which is a one power rod. They're coming out with the NRX one power rods again. The, another option that would be really good for this. Uh, I used a shorter rod as I'm not making long cast, but. If you're somewhere in clear water, you want to bomb a cast, the longer rod would be the way to go. So that's all there is to it. And then it's just a collar. And I'm going to put the weed guard in it and the trailer. I'm going to show you what the trailer is um, that works good together. When you're making this collar, tie it tight to that ring. Uh, when you get it as close as you can and you tie it tight to the ring, that's where you're going to get all your flare from. You can see it already This wants to pop off. I'm just going to put it over there so I can whip finish it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is a one-off hook in here. I forgot to tell you that. It's a Mustad 32900. It's light, but it's not really light. Uh, it's very strong. It's... The same diameter as a one aught Gamagatsu 604. Uh, I really like this hook ever since we started using it. 
which was last year. So we got that done. We're going to use some Loctite Super Glue Brush On as our head cement. Just because it's silicone. Don't need a lot. We're good with that. I'm going to free my strands up here. I'm just going to cut just a little bit above the head. There, they flare out real nice. We'll take it out and get my scissors here ready so we can take it out and we'll cut the, the bottom loops free. So far, so good. We've got to shorten it up a little bit. Should have did that before. I just don't know how long they're going to be, though, when I get that done. So I'll go down here in my scrap bin. I'm going to cut them strands free. Or I should say shorten them up. Just a little bit. Well, so far, so good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our weed guard in. And I'm going to take some super glue gel. Always use the gel with the weed guard. And when you're using it, you don't have to put a lot in it. It starts oozing out. Just a little bit in, in uh, the weed guard hole will be plenty to hold that. I've never had them come out in all the years um, that I've been doing this. I've never had one come out on me. We'll take our super glued gel and put a little drop in there. We're going to take our FG12 weed guard. And we'll install that. And I'm actually going to shorten this weed guard up a little bit. And what I do when I trim the weed guard is I bend it down and I hold it right where that, the edge of that barb is. And that's where I trim it at. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these trailers, which is a zoom tiny chunk. And I trimmed one down already. But what you're doing is you're just trimming it down to make it a little thinner so it doesn't push the silicone out too far because this is actually wider than that head and I don't want that. Uh, I think it's more natural if it, it's going to flare your silicone but not real dramatic. So what I do is I already lined it up. I'm going to come in here and we're going to thread it right through the bottom of the, the pad and we're going to thread it up on And there you have it. I get my vice out of the way here. That is pumpkin seed craw or orange pumpkin craw. Uh, we've called it a bunch of different things, but that little pattern is a great Ned Rig alternative. You drag this along uh, a rocky bottom, anywhere you have that brown or red clay, killer pattern and a killer little jig. So when everybody else is throwing a Ned Rig around, you give that a shot and see what you think. Um, I think you'll like the results. Thanks for watching.